Weird friends. I have got some weird friends. And no, I'm not talking about the liberals and the conservatives. I got them too. <laughs> I'm talking about some really unusual people. And I might talk a little longer than I probably should, but we'll see. One of my favorites is a story I tell about one time when Coaster and I were running through Oklahoma on our way to Florida with the stops in between. And we got to this little small town. When I say small, their biggest uh, gas station was a Flying J that I think had like four or six pumps. It was also the biggest store in town, I think. <laughs> It was a small town. We were looking for some place to eat, and the only place we could see was the Flying J with their roller grill type food, and I think they had a Subway sandwich in there. We really wanted a sit-down meal, and it was around lunchtime, and I, I, we saw this little, what I call a mom-and-pop diner. Not a part of any chain or anything, and we uh, pulled in there, we sat down to eat and when the waitress brought our food she said in, 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 in these words she said is there anything else I can do for you? Well usually they say is there anything else I can get you? Is there anything else you want? But she said is there anything else I can do for you? I've never done this before or since but I just felt the Spirit of God move, I guess, and I said, sure, can you lay a prayer on this feast? And she looked at me, and then she started to pray. And this was a praying woman. When we got ready to leave, um, their credit card machine was kind of old. I didn't have any cash, so I was going to pay with the credit card, and I have to give the uh, tip amount before she runs the credit card. And she refused to put a tip on there. She said, if I own this restaurant, I wouldn't let you pay for the meal either. Because she'd asked us who we were and what we were doing, and we were preaching at biker churches across the south, and she thought that was just the greatest. And uh, Arleva not only blessed us that day, when we got home about two and a half weeks later, she'd sent us a couple of checks off from a waitress salary. And you know they don't make a lot of money. Weird friends. How about Monty? It was on that same trip. We needed to get to Gatesville, Texas by Sunday morning. I was supposed to speak at this church, Highway to Heaven Biker Church. And we were having trouble with one of the motorcycles. So we stopped at a shop and we we tried. Coaster tried to fix it. Finally, after the sun went down, we called Monty on his cell phone and said, is there any way you or you can get somebody to come pick us up with a trailer? Uh, we got a bike that's not working. I said, we'll keep limping along. We're on this route. And he said, sure, I'll be there, but it'll take me a few hours found out later he was uh, I don't know a couple hundred miles east of his home in Gatesville at a motorcycle rally with his wife and his son and they they loaded up and headed home switched out and got in the pickup truck with the trailer behind it and they came and got us in the middle of the night met us alongside of the road greeted us like we were long lost brothers and that they hadn't seen forever with a great big old Texas hug. 
And then we got to Gatesville, it was like, I don't remember, three or four in the morning? And I had to get up and speak that day. Monty had to get up too. He was pastor of that church. But they were just as kind and pleasant as could be. You know, I've got I've got some friends that are what the motorcycle people call one percenters. To those of you who aren't motorcycle people, that's people that are in clubs that the cops don't like. I got news for you, they aren't all bad. And I got some friends in there. Some of them you might think are bad, but okay. Um, I like them. I got friends in other clubs. I used to be in one of those clubs. Um, oh my goodness. I'm thinking of uh, clear back in our Florida days when I worked with this homeless shelter and through that and other ways uh, we ended up with some friends that were prostitutes and um, actually had a couple visit us in our house. No, just one. But just, but I gave another one a ride more than once. <laughs> um, we've got we got ex cons that are friends of ours. Um, we've got people recovering from substance abuse. You know a lot of them. You look at my Facebook, and if you knew what some of those people were like. You just shake your head. Where do you get them? Um, we've had murderers, I mean murderers, more than one, eat at our dining room table in our house. Um, I have multiple registered sex offenders on my friend list. I have homosexuals, and like I said at the beginning, I got... I got Democrats and Republicans, the most liberal of, of Democrats and the most conservative Republicans and everywhere in between. But you know what triggered this today is I was thinking about probably the weirdest friend of all. And I'm going to try and do this without even letting my good close friends know who it is. <clears throat> but this man is willing to live without a home in order to help others. He's done it. He's willing to give other people a ride even when it's a long ways out of his way and he doesn't get paid for it. And he's not wealthy. He he makes less than minimum wage uh, on average. I mean I'm talking 40 hour a week minimum wage he doesn't even come close to that. But he's willing to help others. He's willing to take uh, young adults under his wing and teach them and help them, mentor them, you know. He believes the Bible should be taken literally. When James says, help the widows and orphans, he takes that to heart. When the Bible says for me to live as Christ, he takes that very literally. He's actually been driven out of more than one church that I know of, usually by gossips, because he's a little bit off, is what we say. Yeah, not once, but more than once, that I personally know of. Um, I tend to agree with him on a lot of things, so it's kind of awkward for me here. Um, you know, one of the things I get very frustrated with, especially on Facebook, is Christians that are always condemning others. Um, Obama is a popular one. I'm not an Obama fan, haven't liked him from the day one. I didn't vote for him, didn't vote for him the second time. Not interested. 
I don't like him, uh, but I don't go around bashing him all the time. You know, Jesus said in John 3, 17, the Son of Man did not come into the world to condemn the world. Well, my friend, he believes that means we shouldn't go around condemning people either. Um, although, you know, Jesus uh, did confront the Pharisees more than once. And this man is not afraid to confront the religious leaders of today, especially if they become too hypocritical. And, and I don't mean about him. I mean about how they live their lives. They preach one thing and then they practice another. He doesn't like that. He's the most extreme follower of God that I have ever met in my life. When I read the Bible, this person is the one that I see in my mind the most often. I wonder... How often has anyone said that about you? When I read the Bible, the person I think about or see in my mind most often is you. Oh my. Something to think about. Well, don't worry about it too much. I love you. God loves you. Bye.